everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. Let's be honest, with warm weather in the forecast, Throwback Thursday has become all about last year's booze fuel barbecues and cottage weekends. Yeah, you can say we're pretty excited. Oh, I love day drinking. And while our first taste of summer might seem like a good excuse to plow through a cheap keg, we still have a full summer ahead of short shorts, bikinis, and slinky dresses to get through. Best to keep those boozy calories in check. So today I'm gonna to show you my top tips for making delicious low-cal cocktails, as well as three irresistible recipes that'll have you feeling great and having fun all summer long. First up, my Pinot Grigio Melon Ball Spritzer. Spritzers are a great way to stretch the flavor and calories of your favorite white wine in a refreshing summer drink. I start with my go-to wine, Francoise Lerton Pinot Grigio from Argentina, because it has a big, juicy fruit flavor of grapefruit and pineapple and a lively finish. It's surprisingly a well-priced pick for sipping with dinner or for casual day drinking, like what we're doing with this cocktail. First, I use a melon baller to cut out pieces of watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew melon and freeze them on a baking tray until solid. Once they're frozen, I mix three ounces of Francoise Lerton Pinot Grigio with an ounce of sparkling water, a dash of aromatic lime bitters, a slice of lime, and a few flavorful melon balls to keep your drink cool and add an extra burst of juicy flavor. Garnish with a sprig of mint and you're ready to party. You can also let your guests get in on the fun by setting up a DIY spritzer bar. Here are some of my favorites as well as some healthy mindful drinking tips. Do use citrus flavored or plain seltzer, sparkling water or club soda. Don't use tonic or sweetened pop. Do use fresh or frozen no sugar added fruit, herbs and citrus. Don't use fruit mixes or purees that are loaded with added sugar. Do pour your drinks into taller glasses with lots of ice. Don't pour your drinks into shorter, wider glasses without any ice. Research shows that you can actually trick your mind into thinking you're drinking more simply by switching up your glassware and bulking up the portion of calorie-free ice. Do limit the booze in your cocktail to one and a half ounces of liquor or four ounces of wine. Don't decide to whip up a cocktail that involves the whole bar. And do have a sip of water between each sip of alcohol and limit yourself to no more than one boozy drink per lady and two drinks per man each day. Next up, my watermelon mojito. In a tall glass, I metal together the juice of one lime with a small handful of mint and half a teaspoon of sugar. Then I puree a cup and a half of seedless watermelon with an ounce of rum and a handful of ice. Finally, I pour the watermelon into the mint and lime mixture and top it off with an ounce or two of sparkling water. And finally, my mango margarita with the probiotic benefits of fizzy kombucha. First, I puree a third of a cup of fresh or frozen mango into a blender with a teaspoon of honey, a tablespoon of lime juice, an ounce of tequila, and a handful of ice. Finally, Transfer the whole thing to a tall glass and top it off with three ounces of mango kombucha. So there you have it, three recipes and all the tips you need to make sure you can have your cake and drink it too without any unnecessary guilt. Thanks so much for watching. For more great summer entertaining ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Every week I power through five long days of runs, work, emails, errands, and chores. And by the time Saturday rolls around, I'm comatose on the couch in TV marathon mode. No big deal until the TV binge turns into a full-blown junkie snack binge. Sound familiar? Well, we're in this together. This is my snack confession. Here are some of my top tips to help you stop those mindless munchies. 